Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Tonight I'm working on altering notebooks, composition notebooks. These I got at Walmart. They were like 50 cents a piece and they are great craft fair sellers. Um, so I thought I would show you how I'm altering them. Here's one that I have done and it's super simple. And as you see, everything is all inside. I've created a pocket on the front and the back. And there's the back. So anyway, let me just show you how I did this. There's many altered notebooks out there. I've done these multiple times in the past. And yeah, it's so super simple. Except now I have figured out a way that I like doing it where it covers the edges as well. So let me just show you the first of all the paper that I'm using for this particular notebook. And this one actually came from... Um, Joanne Fabrics. This is 5th and Monaco by Park Lane. It's a beautiful, beautiful paper pad. Now, if you look at these, look at the pink flowers. If you could see it, they shine. They are just absolutely beautiful. I'm going to use the for the front and the back. Now, these particular notebooks, um, they measure, let me see here. They're about seven and a half by about 10 and three fourths. Now, depending on what size of notebook you use, just measure your notebook and add an inch to, to each side. Um, add an inch, add an inch total to each, to each side of height and width. And that way you can score to half an inch. Hopefully that makes sense. I just add an inch to where I can score half an inch on the top and bottom. And all I do is I put it up against my, the black binding right there. And then I just left myself about an inch hanging over. It doesn't really matter how much you have over because you're going to cover it up anyway. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is take your, take your double-sided tape and you're going to line it up right along the edge of where this black binding is. You can cover it up if you want. I just, um, I don't mind leaving it there. I think it, it, it will kind of go well as well with the paper I've chosen anyway. So I'm gonna get myself tape all the way around. Went to see my dad today. I uh, was so glad to see him in person, not through a window. And um, I was able to go in and um, in their lunchroom and they brought him down and we got to chat for a while. So it was good. I'm going to go ahead and put some tape on the back of this. But anyway, he was doing good and um, baby steps. But hopefully one of these days we'll get back to normal where we can go and visit when we want and go in his room and just hang out with him because I know that he's lonely for that so hopefully that will happen soon okay I'm almost done got one more side we are taking these notebooks from grab to fab Okay, so there we go. Got some tape on the front and the back. That way it's ready to go. Now what I do is I kind of measure it up uh, about in the center. You're leaving about a half an inch. You're leaving about a half an inch on each side, okay? On the top and the bottom. And then whatever's hanging off on this end, it's fine. But I did cut my paper. I did cut my paper at 10 and 3 fourths by 7 and 3 fourths. All I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off a little bit of my double-sided tape, line it up at the, from the top part, holding it right up against that black line, making sure I leave about a half an inch at the top. And once I get that down right along that edge, hold this in place, and you're going to Peel it off and there you go. Now I'm going to add a little bit right down the center of some clear tape and I'm going to go ahead I'm going to peel this off as well. 
This is super fast. You can whip these out in no time. Takes me longer to pick off the paper off the tape. Okay, there we go. Make sure you get it pressed down really well. See how nice it looks with that black strip right there? Looks good. Okay, so for the inside, what you're gonna do is, it doesn't really matter if it's even at the top or the bottom of the side. It doesn't matter. Um, take your scissors and kind of cut. And let me get you down just a little bit, okay, y'all? I want you to be able to see, I want you to be able to see better what I'm doing. Okay. So over at the corners here, I'm going to cut it three times to all the way up to that edge. Okay. So you see that? Just like that. Okay. I'm going to take this and you're going to be folding it. Just kind of fold it up. You're just going to kind of fold it up there. And over here on this side, do the same thing. Put it up toward. Put that right up toward that line. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to put some tape. But I think I'm going to start in the corners. it over put it down okay what another one right there and then you could do another one if you want I'm gonna just kind of trim just a little bit because whenever this folds over you don't want it to stick up so now I'm gonna add tape going along the edge Press it down. I'm going to do this side. You can use glue if you want. I find it's just as easy to do tape. And see, by folding this over, you have a nice edge. Now I'm going to do this edge. See, that's why it doesn't matter how short or long you have made it on the sides. If it's not even, it doesn't matter. Pressing that up. Pressing that up. the way up to the edge and this little part that's hanging right here before you press it down just snip it off okay so now we have nice corners if they're a little raggedy just take your bone folder and kind of smooth it or take a nail file or something that way you can get them nice and smooth So that looks really, really good. Really good. Okay, let's do the back. Unpeel. Grab my paper. don't get it right totally right just lift it up and kind of smooth it over there we go open up the inside well, first you're gonna grab these pieces pull it off Give a little bit of tape down the center, press it down. 
See how nice that looks? That looks so nice. And it's so simple and just pretty. Okay, let's do this end. Cut. Kind of cut. And cut. Three times. Just do it on each corner. Tape. Tape in the corners. it up. Let's do this corner before we go to the other side. Okay, gonna do the bottom and then the side. paper up just like this one more side and by doing it this way it kind of covers those edges If you have a little raggedy, remember to take a nail file or your bone folder or something and press it down. Do this side as well. So there you go. That looks good. Now let's cover the inside and we're also going to add a pocket. So I've already pre-cut these pages, these pocket pages. And it's going to fit right up inside here, leaving about an eighth of an inch over here. You don't want to go all the way down. But I have cut this paper seven and three eighths by nine and five eighths. But before you add it on, we're going to add our pocket. That front is gorgeous. So I've already cut um, some paper. My pocket is four by um, four in height by eight and three eighths. If it can be longer than that, you're gonna fold it over. So let's just score at the bottom. Sorry, I got my thing over there falling on me. So I'm just gonna score a half an inch on the bottom. I'm going to do a half an inch on the side, just so I have a, way, a place to put it. Let's do the other side, half an inch. I'm going to score it at half an inch, so the bottom is scored at three and a half. Okay. Okay, I think I got something that's about to fall over on me here. Okay, so go ahead, crease the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and crease one side, just so it's ready. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna miter my corner. This way it's gonna go right up inside here, and you should have about a half an inch for the other side. So, let me go ahead and get some tape. You can tape or glue, but I'm gonna go ahead and make sure if you're direction, using a directional print that you are putting it the correct way. As 
see and it didn't even cover it all the way because I didn't put it close enough, but it doesn't matter as long as it don't show on this side because that's the back. Now I'm just going to trim it right there. I'm just going to trim a little bit more. I want to get closer to that edge. And even though I covered it, it don't matter. As long as you don't, as long as you have it behind. Okay, so there's one. That's one of our pockets. Let's go ahead and get the other one ready. I've already got scored on two sides. You can score on three if you want. I find this is just as easy. up like that. And there we go. Now we have two pockets. You can add a trim along there if you would like. Decorate it up. I'm just showing you the basics. And now it's going to go right in here. Now this is our rounded corners here. So I'm going to use my my uh, quarter inch corner rounder. I'll go ahead and get that rounded just on the one side. It's going to go right up inside here. And we'll do the same thing to the other side. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add some tape. is really fun. It really is. And I'm going to do a strip along here. Not all the way down toward the stitching. gonna take it and I'm going to unpeel one side I'm gonna just line it up press it down and let's peel off the other sides Down. Okay, now we have now we have a pocket. Let's do the back. And how easy is that? You can use some glue if you want. I just vacuumed my craft room and now I'm making a gigantic mess again. Oh my goodness. I watched Lori over Lori's crafts, crafts and creations today, and she was doing a haul, and she was like putting things in such a neat order because she said she was trying to keep everything nice and nice and organized since she cleaned up her craft room. I know how that feels, Miss Lori. I just it's just hard to keep it looking good. It really is. Okay, let's do this back. Okay, 
I'm gonna, oh, I forgot to quarter round, I forgot to do the corner rounder, quarter inch. Got it where you want it, peel it off, and peel off the other side. And now you have another pocket. Look at that, isn't that so sweet? Add some trim along here, embellish it up any way you want. Right here we can add some ribbon going across here. Um, okay, I, I cut out one set of heart that we could put on the front, so let's do that quickly. I'm just gonna use some scraps. I'm just gonna make sure this is all cut properly. Get this all on. I don't like to leave a little bit of the white from the other cut aparts. I like it to be nice and pretty. Okay, I'm just going to layer this up. Corner round, or a corner round it if you'd like. I kind of like mine squared. So I'm leaving it square. Okay, and there we go. Added a little extra pink along the edge. We're gonna stick it in the center. I'm gonna center it up. And then along the side, let's add a little ribbon. Sorry for my arm, y'all. Got some nice pink. Just take it up along, up underneath the cover. Measure it up. Oh, this is beautiful. Add a little glue dot underneath if you want, or a sticky dot or something. Tie it up. There we go. Now on the inside, like I said, you can add some trim around, along here if you like. What would really be cute to really step up your game on this is put some tabs, like a, several tabs, like section off a certain amount of papers and add tabs, make maybe three or four tabs going all the way through to kind of separate it out to whatever it is. Like if you're using this for a school or if you're using this for grocery lists or Christmas lists or whatever you're using it for, you can label those tabs, whatever you want. That way you have different sections. But how beautiful is that? That is so pretty. I love, love, love the paper and it turned out very, very cute, y'all. Very cute. Okay, let me see what I did with my other one here. Y'all, I get to losing things. Oh, there it is. And there we go. Now I've got two. 
Anyway, thanks so much everyone for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome Friday evening. And um, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, y'all.